Update, as Uranium-1 investigation explodes and other associate found dead. Strangely, many people who have connections with the Clintons, have mysteriously died. Recently, the 46 years old Steve Mostyn died. He was a top Democratic donor and a famous lawyer. The statement that followed after his death, released by his wife Amber Mostyn, had details about his death. It read that it was sudden onset and battle with a mental health issue. However, she never gave the cause of his death. Steve was a beloved husband and devoted fathers who adored his children and never missed any of their sporting activities. He was a true friend, and a faithful fighter for those who did not have a voice, she wrote. The statement continued, If you or a loved one are thinking about suicide, or experiencing a health crisis, call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline right now at 1-800-273-8255. According to the campaign finance records, since 2000 he had donated around $24 million. He donated to many political causes such as the Ready for Hillary PAC. There are allegations that Mostyn was scared because of his connections to Hillary Clinton and her Uranium One deal, which is still under investigation. These last couple of months, he stood away from the political donations. Mostyn probably hoped that he will save himself from prosecution. However, that was probably not enough, so Mostyn committed suicide. Here are some of his connections of his with Hillary Clinton. They were members of Democracy Alliance the coalition of far-left billionaires that includes George Soros and Tom Steyer. They held numerous high-dollar fundraisers for Hillary for her many failed presidential campaigns. In 2009 Boeing made application to sell $3.7 million worth of aircraft to a Russian airline, Rossiya. The deal required State Department approval and Hillary Clinton was the Secretary of State at that time. In 2010, Hillary Clinton pushed the multi-billion dollar deal for Boeing through the State Department and just two months later Boeing donated $900,000 to the Clinton Foundation. Can you say quid pro quo? Boeing's top lobbyist and former Bill Clinton aide Tim Keating partnered with Mr. Mostyn's super PAC to do a joint fundraising venture for Hillary's planned presidential campaign. The biggest problem is that all of this was happening while the Uranium One deal was plotted. There is probably a lot more than we don't know about Mostyn and his connections with Hillary. However, it is enough to know that he was scared that much to commit suicide. This means that Hillary Clinton isn't good for anyone in this country. Scroll down to the comments and tell us what you think, you think.